In previous videos we've looked at creating new designs using the 3D design tools in Sheet Lightning and loading um, existing designs and modifying them using the design tools. Let's take this a little bit further now um, and have a look at some more of the, the design tools. Um, let's this time create a, a T, let's design a T but with particular sizes so we can see how to uh, actually get the kind of um, size that we need. Size matters obviously so here we go first we'll create a part and let's put this in um, we need to be in select mode here let's put this in uh, in a kind of random orientation rather than aligned with the axes and that will show us or allow me to introduce some of the new tools where I can't rely on axes snapping um, so if I type in a length here of say 800 millimeters and just put that in somewhere and I'll type I'll hit 200 here so that's 200 diameter okay so I've changed that from the default diameter let's now zoom on that and just move that over a bit okay I want to create a T on here so I would choose center line snap snap onto there now if I push to that end I can see the end zero that is it, uh, the the distance from end zero is zero, so that is in that is end one. Sorry, the distance from end one is zero, so that's end one, and that's end two. If I want a certain distance here, say 300 millimeters from end one, I go here, and type 300, and that will fix the start of the new part, part 300 millimeters from the end, and a new node is created at that point. Now. If I wanted to, I can't. If I go at, uh, for axis snap now, um, the effect of that is to align it with the axis. But because I put that first part in at a random kind of angle, um, I don't know what angle this new part is to the previous one. So that's no use in this situation. If I wanted to be perpendicular, I could use the perpendicular snap. And that would say, now select and tell me which part to be perpendicular to. And there, that's snapping to the perpendicular so I could type in a, a length and fix that at the perpendicular on the other hand I may want to fix it as an angle so if I say 60 degrees and then choose this part that snaps me at 60 degrees to an angle as we've seen before um, and then I will probably want to type 400 millimeters a length um, and say OK and yes I want to match this OK so when it comes out it moves into the matching and I'll say I want to grow match it to part one that highlights in red so when I say match the size of this is adjusted to fit that and if I weld that we can see we get an intersection um, let's take a look at that in 3D the ISO and there we have an intersection between those parts now if I want to create another part, let's say I want to align it with this part, um, there is another snap called the align snap. So if I use create part again, snap to the end node, and then use the align snap here. When I select this, it automatically aligns me. So let's move out a bit and then. So it's automatically aligning me with that part. So any part in 3D you can align another one with it quite easily using the align snap. Um, if I wanted to align with the other one I could do that and choose this instead and then the alignment even though it's not linked to this it will still allow me to align with that. So it's easy to align, use any object in there as a means of alignment for a new object. So let's type in now about um, a length of say 300 that fixes the length press enter and let's say yes we want to match the part well, how do we want to match it we want to grow it to this part and match and there it is so if we weld that up we can see that fits together now that's um, the use of the align snap let's just have a look at another facility on here which is the offset part Let's first change this diameter to 400 and no match 
let's then choose offset here and say yes I want to offset to that now this will drag both the part that I originally selected and anything linked to it in a vertical direction or a perpendicular direction to the plane of the two center lines of the of the original part and the part I'm dragging so in this case that's going to be vertical and I can type in an offset here and if I type in an offset of 100 and weld that there we see that's been an offset at 100 exactly that is actually the maximum that that could be offset to to give it a valid intersection could have offset it less and still had a valid intersection now that's the use of the offset um, so it's kind of a specialized drag mode where it drags in a perpendicular direction to the plane of the center lines now something else we haven't used yet is the construction lines and, and this is quite powerful in sheet lightning because it allows you to locate things in 3D now if I choose center line, cre create center line snap to a node let's get into select mode again do I want to link this center line on? it's a good idea to link it on because if we drag this design around the center lines will go with it then so let's align this to an axis and often you will align to XYZ axis to get a particular position away from a certain point or node so let's type in a value here of 700 millimeters and in goes a center line another, um, another con a construction line create another construction line snap to a node, snap here and now what I'll do is align this with the X axis and give it a length of say 600 so in that way I've managed to get a, a, a point six, 700 in the negative Y 600 in the positive X and now I'm going to get a vertical position from there do you want to link it on yes and snap to the axis that's the Z axis and say I want to be 500 vertically above this point so it's 700, 600, 500 um, now I could use that, the thing is now I can use that point to locate a new part and I may want uh, often often this is this is the way we locate things and design things in sheet lightning just by putting those construction lines in place and then linking new parts onto those pieces do you want to link it? yes do you want to match the part? yes how do you want to match it? first what to? that's the only option and how will I match it? I'll taper it so there we've got a new part linked on but in the 3D orientation rising up and coming to a certain position here relative to here so let's just put a new part in there which is something we may, may want to do here um, maybe now want to put another new part in align that with the axes and give it say a length of 250 and put it in there and let's keep it at 150 millimeters diameter and let's say no matching so this has been fixed at a diameter been hooked onto there but there's no matching between them so that is not a valid intersection because it's not been matched together now the thing is we will have set this to a certain diameter and the part we really want to match is this one at both ends rather than matching this to it because that will alter uh, this part either it would taper it which we may not want or it will grow it and change the diameter which we may not want so the thing to do here is to use match, match selected and match this, it's already matched to object 1 we want to also match it to object 8, the new one we just put in there and if we select match now that is now matched at both ends 
So if you, we use weld, we find we have an in, a valid intersection at both ends, and this becomes a matching part. One thing we often want to do when we've got construction lines is query them and ask them to report. Now this is the transcript window which I've not shown you before um, but if we look in the window here show transcript it can be got at any time any reporting that's done is done into this window and you can highlight this and copy it out if you, did, if you wish but there's a length of line 600 and we can see that it's lying in the X direction so that gives us a fix on just how far away that is there we have this highlighted so we could say report selected there that will give us information that's 700 long and that's quite useful for remembering um, exactly how uh, far away we located nodes from from a given point so if we've got these three 3d no uh, 3d lines it's construction lines it's easy to query them to discover exactly what we did there we do actually cover matching the whole subject of match matching in a uh, another video but uh, that gives a, an initial kind of introduction into what it into what matching is and what it's useful for